All right, been gone for a couple of days, and uh, finally back in my studio. I'm uh, going to start working on the other side of the horse, the right side of the horse, today, and uh, get that going. Time to play with some clay. I've uh, been away from this for a couple of days. I had all stuff to do in Bozeman and all kinds of stuff to do on this last couple of days. And let's get busy on this horse and uh, see if I can get it going here. Okay. I'm going to start with the rear leg, the rear light right leg, and uh, like I did on the back of, or on the other side of the horse, and uh, we'll work our way down. Again, I'm not going to show everything because I've got extra, extra uh, because I've got uh, instructional videos on this. All right. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just getting the uh, bone structure ready for the uh, muscles and tendons I will be adding to it. I'm using a uh, photograph that a friend of mine took of an Indian model on horseback. But it showed the rear leg so perfectly that uh, I just had to use that uh, little area of that photograph. running into a problem with my clay it's getting cold outside because it's getting into the fall season and the weather is starting to change you know what it is yearly climate change right well the clay is a little harder because it takes a little more to soften it and because of the uh, coldness in the uh, studio. And uh, so it's taking just a little more effort on my part to work with it. But I'll survive. It won't kill me. It just is a different time of year. Well, you can really get carried away with these leg muscles. The key is not to, and I'm trying not to.
That muscle's just a little too big. You see what it looks like on the other side. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same. starting to build up the uh, butt area of the uh, horse. Muscle out of muscle, by muscle, by muscle, by muscle. <laughs> My mouth didn't want to say that. I think I'll be able to start putting the uh, tail on it pretty quick here. Normally I hold off on it, but I think I'm going to put the tail on it a little early. I'm thinking of having the, the wind from behind maybe blowing down on him. There's a side of the mountain that uh, the wind blows up, and there's a side of the mountain the wind blows down. And I think I'm going to have him on the side where it's blowing down. I just... Uh, Trying to see how this is going to look with the uh, tail blowing. Or just have it hanging.
Yeah, I kind of like the uh, book of that blowing against the leg of the horse. I'm using Ronsonol on the uh, clay. For those who have never watched my videos before, Ronsonol has some kind of property in it that uh, causes the clay to melt just a little. So I can take care of rough areas on the uh, sculpture, like in the legs where I've done some work. It doesn't take care of all the problems, but uh, it does uh, help. All right. Have a great night, everybody. I'll see you uh, next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.